Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel, and I'm going to share with you opinions from, I believe, seven different chart analysts, all of who believe it is very likely that we're about to see XRP price explode in the very short term, and their opinions vary a, a bit as far as exactly where it's going to land, but uh, all of them say between 40 to 50 cents. Now, uh, this is fascinating to me. When I see this many chart analyst opinions line up, I definitely take notice. The last time I saw that this, time of this type of agreement on XRP price action, impending XRP price action uh, from, these, from chart analysts, the last time I saw anything like this, it was leading up to the November 15th, uh, roughly November 15th, uh, XRP rally when it went uh, from 20-something cents up to uh, whatever, it's probably close to 80 cents. Uh, and and uh, I had mentioned at the time, I was like, guys, I've never seen the like, chart analysts agree like this. Because mind you, I'd been in a, a bear market for like, th you know, three years to that point. <laughs> and so there was only so much positive price action uh, to talk about. And, uh, and so sure enough, they were all correct. And uh, this is the first time I'm seeing that many line up again. Well, maybe if you, you could say the third, I, it, the most recent pop were up from, um, I guess we had their recent low around 17 cents. And then after, after the, the scary SEC news, all that, you know, about the SEC going after Ripple, but then it, it did pop back up a bit. Uh, and so the most recent time got up to about 35 cents. Retrace just a little bit, been kind of range bound for X number of days now. But again, now they're saying, yep, it is definitely about to pop. Um, I do want to be clear that I don't have a, a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. I simply think it's fun to talk about these topics. I'm just as interested in as you are in it. Uh, I am an XRP holder after all and I love running this uh, YouTube channel purely as a hobby. That is all that it is. Now as I record this XRP is just over 34 cents. Bitcoin is at $40,665. You got the market cap for the asset class at $1.1 trillion with a T. I love being able to say that. It's fantastic. I've been saying forever. We're going to get above. I've been saying that for years. And then to see, well, duh. I, well, it was inevitable. I knew it. Uh, to, to, but then to see that we're actually there now, it just it just feels so, so good. You got Bitcoin dominance at 68.44%. And a quick update on your Spark token, if, you're, if you've claimed or will be claiming that. As I record this, it's at just over 19 cents. So the way I kind of have been looking at it, I've mentioned this a few times on the channel, it's like whatever the price of XRP is, just throw that right on top because it's just, it's it's free money. It, it basically is. And uh, this thing could still really run. Uh, you know, it's, 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 you know, close to a little more than half of what a single XRP is worth right now, but... Look, you, you what you think that uh, everything in the uh, every altcoin on the planet's going to run except for XRP and except Spark token? Yeah, I don't think so. I suspect that they both will uh, in substantial ways. Uh, here's a tweet from Credible Crypto, who is now up to ninety four thousand six hundred followers on Twitter. He, he sent this out. If you got excited seeing the last XRP pop, you're gonna love this next one. The start of our major reversal against Bitcoin. This is the Bitcoin pairing, but it should correlate with a move to 40 to 50 cents on the USD pairing that I have been talking about in my recent video update. And so you can see right here with where it is, and again, this being the XRP BTC pair, it there hasn't it, it hasn't looked like this really since like December of 2017, which is now what this chart shows. This is more recent here. But uh, the, the last time we saw it anywhere in this range, it was December 2017. And last time that happened, XRP went from uh, 20 something cents up to almost $4. Um, here's another tweet from Credible Crypto. I wonder what, uh, I wonder what the uh, XRP bears are telling themselves right now to convince themselves that we are headed down from here. And here's another chart. And this is from just a bit earlier today, indicating new levels of support that keep developing here, even after the scary SEC news, which is, uh, I guess that would be right about where this X was, somewhere thereabout. It went down, and then there, as soon as he started getting news about Coinbase and other crypto exchanges, Halting or delisting XRP in the United States, another super duper scary moment, crashed down further, and ever since then, just been climbing on back up. New support. How about that? 
Uh, here's another tweet from Credible Crypto who wrote, "I uh, oh I'm sorry, the, the, oh yeah, here we go, yeah." He wrote, uh, "I wanted to point this out. Okay, so there was a response actually from somebody named Freedom Fighter O One um, uh, in response to that last tweet I just read." And Freedom Fighter 01 wrote the following. Again, I love XRP, always loved the tech and use case. I was a one percenter. If it survives without permanent damage, great. That pending reality completely outweighs yours or anyone's technical analysis, man. Also, it's clear the government prefers stable coins with settlement bridge workaround. So beware to wait and uh, so beware and wait peeps. To which Credible Crypto responded, This is the four-hourly chart. Unless you think we are going to get an update on the SEC case in the next two days, the technical analysis here is very relevant. And so this is in line with a point that I've been making, which is simply that, yeah, of course, the news dramatically impacted the price of XRP to the downside, got rid of everybody that that, uh, didn't want to be there anymore because it admittedly is scary news, admittedly uh, does make it riskier to hold XRP. But outside of that, it's still now just moving in tandem with the rest of the market unless you get any sort of other crazy, scary news. And so as far as the, the timing of uh, you know, the, the outcome of court, like we're going to know that well in advance. And so like, the way I'm looking at it is anybody that, that is, is worried that that news is going to crash XRP, and, and it could if it's bad news, uh, first of all, that could be over a year away for all I know. If there, This is assuming there's no settlement. Let, let's assume it goes to court. You're going to know that event is coming, and anybody that wants to stop speculating has plenty of time if that's what they're trying to avoid. On the flip side, if there's a settlement before that, it would come out of nowhere, and it would dramatically increase the price of XRP, I certainly suspect. And so, you know, I, I get the concern. It makes sense, and I'm never going to pretend like XRP is... You know, less risky, or, or that it's not more risky than it was prior to this news. I'm never going to pretend that it doesn't do anything to change my conviction, though. And I continue to hold all of my XRP. I haven't sold any of it to this point. So, yeah, I just, I, I just think it's going to be back to moving in tandem with the market, and that's the evidence that we are seeing now that everybody that cared about the news got out. There you go, and new people are going to be coming in. The news already broke. The, the crash already happened, so there you go. And as far as what Freedom Fighter wrote about uh, government preferring stable coins with settlement bridge work, not getting into it because I'm talking about price in this video, uh, but that would be an individual. That's amazing that you could hold that much XRP if you're a one percenter and not understand how the walled garden systems like that are, are not going to be a global solution. So I've talked about it extensively on my channel, but I, I feel like I'd be remiss if I didn't at least address the fact that that individual wrote that. So... Not a concern on my end, that's for sure. Uh, here's another tweet from Credible Crypto, and then I'm going to get to some others. Uh, I think it's got two more from him anyway. He wrote, uh, it's quite simple. For every new retail buyer that jumped into crypto in 2017, there will be 10 times more this time around. Prior all-time highs, it's literally just the beginning. And so he was just like a goldmine with quotes. I hope you guys can see I wanted to share so much of this. Uh, it's exactly in line with what I've been thinking. And so consider this. XRP ran up to almost $4 by early 2000. Uh, so I think it was January 4th was the all-time high of 2018. That happened with roughly 0.002% of humans on the planet having ever held XRP at any point in time. A little bit less than that, actually, would be my estimate. Maybe it's more like 0.015. Um, and I ran the numbers, I've run through and explained why on the channel, but I want to, I want to remind you the, that it only took that small number of humans to have XRP run up that way. And so when, when people are like, anybody has concern about, oh, but market cap, XRP can't go that high, this and that. I'm like, yeah, well, that's why your face was melted last time XRP went to almost $4, because you don't understand what market cap is. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's just the, the current market rate times supply. It doesn't mean that much money has to flow in. Nowhere near that much money has to flow in to get uh, such such high prices here. And so to me, it would be weird if that was the, if that's the the greatest all-time high XRP will ever have, the best day is already behind us. I find that incredibly hard to believe. As if, you know, the, there's going to be S-word coins pumping, but for some reason, XRP, one of the most liquid cryptocurrencies on the planet with exposure on what somewhere in the neighborhood of like 200 cryptocurrency exchanges the world over. So everything else is going to pump in the market. Altcoins will pump. 
uh, including S-word coins, but not XRP. <laughs> you think people aren't going to want to keep speculating on it? My friends, I firmly disagree. Um, and so then he wrote, this is the last one from him, and then I got a bunch of, I'm going to do this bam, 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 one opinion after another, illustrating the same sentiment of XRP price going anywhere from 40 to 50 cents. But check this out. Uh, the last one from Credible Crypto. Considering XRP is a global asset, 95% of traders are coming from outside the U.S., I would assume that 90 plus percent of new participants will also come from outside the United States. XRP was sent to $3.50 plus in 2017 with no Coinbase and primarily by international buyers. Yeah, it's, it's um, you know, prior to the, the recent uh, suspensions in, in XRP trading to listening in the United States, prior to that, you know, it was a lot easier in recent days other than that. Uh, to, to purchase XRP in the United States. But if you go back a few years during that bull run, it actually, if you're in the United, in the United States, it was not easy to get your hands on XRP. There were almost no options. There, there really weren't. You know, you didn't have your uphold. You didn't have Coinbase. You didn't have, well, I can't remember, Bitstamp, maybe Bitstamp did. I can't remember. But, but um, the vast majority of exchanges... Uh, that ended up adding it, it just, it wasn't on them. And you still had XRP run up to almost $4. It was the rest of the world that sent XRP to those price levels. And so even with less exposure in the United States, thanks to what has happened with the suspension, you know, this idea of like, what if there's literally 10 times as many retailers this time around? Where do you think this is going? You know, I'm just saying. Uh, here's chart analyst Lub Crypto, who wrote, a Bitcoin permitting as long as it doesn't nuke, XRP, he's talking about, and so if Bitcoin crashes, XRP and the rest of the market goes down. And yeah, that fair enough. That's a, that's a very fair point. But it's a Bitcoin permitting, as long as it doesn't nuke, XRP is primed for a breakout, another 40% leg up. And so from here, with XRP trading around 34 cents, that would be what? Somewhere in the neighborhood of like 46 cents. So there's another trader that believes that's where we're headed. Uh, here's a uh, <laughs> chart analyst. Harry, he's at Geraldo XRP. This individual called the, the most epic rally in XRP history. Yes, the one in 2017 that sent it almost $4. He called it. He's like, we, I can't remember exactly how he ordered it, but uh, this is it. I, I didn't pull it up for the sake of this video. Uh, he also called the top of the rally, uh, which I, I do believe was January 4th. Hell, I'll just even open up another tab here. I think that he has it pinned. Let me take a look. Uh, yeah, January 4th, 2018. XRP under pressure looks like the bulls might give way for a bit now. Never mind what a meteoric rise. Well done, everyone. And so again, January 4th, 2018. And so what he put out today was the following. XRP. Price action has been ranging 30 cent levels with buyers coming in at 29 cent support. Price action still looking to attack the bottom of the last distribution range around 43 cents i'm gonna listen to him i personally i'm gonna i'm gonna listen to him um here's a tweet from the cryptos at cryptos underscore um, xrp looking to break out of this bull pennant price reached the 1.618 fib extension level looking at the 2.618 as a probable next stop circa 45 to 47 cents where we also have big weekly resistance. There's another chart analyst that's the right in the range. So even if they're, one says 43, one says 45 to 47, we're splitting hairs here, guys. The answer is up according to all of these analysts. Here's chart analyst Michael Vandepop, who writes for Cointelegraph. Very popular. He's got a huge following on Twitter, too. And so he wrote this piece today. Um, it was about XRP price action. And I'm not going to go through and read the whole thing. But he also stated, and it's funny because he's actually anti-Ripple and he doesn't like XRP, but he said that there's a, a potential path forward in the short term for XRP to hit 50 cents. Again, if you, so if you want the specifics, just you can go to Cointelegraph and find this article. But there's another analyst and he cited potentially targeting 50 cents in the short term right now, basically. Uh, how many analysts is that that have said the same damn thing in the same, roughly the same time frame? I'm paying attention. Uh, you know, and again, of course, uh, if, if Bitcoin does, uh, like, 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 crypto say, like, I think they all acknowledge this too. If there's some sort of horrible, dramatic price action for, for Bitcoin, yeah, well, then instead you're going to see some negative uh, XRP price action. But, uh, e even after that, like, there's so many analysts that think, 
you know, fifty thousand dollars or so for for Bitcoin somewhere there about. That's the level to look for anyway before we start to see some sort of major, you know, 30, 40, 50 percent retracement in Bitcoin. Um, so even if that, even though that will in all likelihood move, uh, be negative price result in negative price action for XRP and the rest of the altcoin market. It could also be, in all likelihood, including, for instance, Blockchain Backer's been saying this, my fellow XRP YouTuber and chart analyst, that uh, that would probably be the catalyst to really begin alt season. So, like, alt, alt coins, mind you, like, a lot of them are notably up, but alt season hasn't even actually begun, which is part of the reason this is all so exciting here. Uh, no new update from chart analyst Alessio Restani, but um, he's got 37,300 followers and over a quarter million uh, subscribers on his YouTube channel where it is chart analysis. And uh, I just wanted to remind you that the, his most recent sentiment from a couple days or so ago, and he, he made a video about this, I mentioned it, uh, he believes it's way more likely that XRP is going to continue uh, moving up in terms of price action rather than down. Um, and then there was DIY investing. Uh, he didn't have any new uh, XRP comments today, I don't think. And then maybe I missed one. But uh, I, he hasn't, I haven't seen any sort of opinion change, and he's been saying for the last couple of days how bullish he is on XRP. And in fact, he recently purchased another 105,000 XRP, he said. And so he, he said that he he's, could not be more bullish on the price action of XRP, and he's just, he just noting how people have been shaken out of the market. The news is super duper scary. But what other bad news is there to come? Well, and I can't imagine what that would even look like. You know, and so if there's going to be unexpected news with the SEC, in all likelihood, it's probably going to be something good. We'll see. I don't know for sure. And so that's why I keep saying, again, XRP is just moving in tandem with the rest of the market again, albeit at a more suppressed price thanks to what happened. But it's still going to go. I, 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 that's my humble belief. Maybe not. But I, I feel a bit convinced about that. And so, again, the level that I keep seeing from so many analysts, and I didn't pull up a bunch of examples, but what I'm generally seeing is that it's it's kind of likely that when Bitcoin finally gets somewhere in that neighborhood of $50,000, just don't be surprised if shortly thereafter we do see a, 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 our first notable pullback, whether it's 30 40 50%, whatever it ends up being. And that's going to shake a bunch of people out of the market, especially new people that don't know what the hell they're doing. And uh, I'm just going to sit here and continue to hold and, uh, you know, I'm probably going to look at that as an opportunity to open up some more positions. I'm uh, I'm not purchasing XRP any longer. I stopped several months or so ago, and I've, I've been talking about that um, fairly frequently. And uh, that's just because my bags are packed. I've got I've, I've got all my XRP. Like, I <laughs> seriously, I've, I bought it up. And I was like, okay, Matt, you need to stop or you have a problem. So I've, I have stopped that. I just, at this point, I just want to diversify so that, uh, you know, my, my risk profile is... Um, less scary, effectively. So that's what I've been doing. But um, I'll go ahead and wrap up there. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.